Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at Adobe Spark. For those of you familiar with packages and sites such as Canva and PictoChart, then there'll be some similarities within Adobe Spark. So let's dive in and have a look at what we can do with it. So if we click on the plus, having logged in, now you can log in either with your Google Plus account, your Facebook account, or your Adobe ID. So we're going to click plus, and it gives us three choices. We can create a post for social media, so that could be an inspirational quote or an invite or something. We create a page, a web page, like a journal, a portfolio, and we can create a video. So we're going to look initially at a post, and we'll click on that. And then we can choose which social media we want it to go to. We click more sizes, we can look at Pinterest, YouTube, an ad for Instagram, Facebook, whatever. So I say it was a Twitter post, I choose Twitter and then continue. And then it's going to bring up a number of choices that we can choose. So it brings up a quote, we can edit the quote if we wish. We can change the text in that by clicking edit. I'm going to leave that as it is for the minute. And then we can change the color, the shape, the spacing. So we could go into shape and go, okay, I want that shape instead. We could then look at the layout and go, okay, I want a banner. And you could resize it if you chose to use that on a different social media account. We go to palettes, we could choose a different set of colors. Um, backgrounds again, we could look at different backgrounds. We could use continue to use the the star theme, or we could decide that we just want a solid color background. And it will remove the photo and apply that as the background color. So very easy to use text-wise. Um, you've got the ability to alter the spacing of the text. You've got the ability to alter the alignment. And the opacity and you can also choose from a range of different fonts and then when you're done <coughs> you can share that by deciding which category it is and you can click share or you can just download and use it so that's how you use the post feature so great if you like posting statements uh, and, and, and information of our social media if we then go back to the home we can look at how we create a page so it's a very sim similar format and I'll do another video I think looking at the video it keeps asking me to rate it so you can add your title in for your page Could add a photo so we could search these locations <laughs> so I could go to Google Photos and I could look for something it's going to ask my permission and then I could search through Google Photos to find what I'm looking for or I could upload something if I wanted to Let's just wait for it to catch up loading back the editor again um, we go to themes we can choose a different theme down the side so the interface is very similar to that if we scroll down we can click the plus and we look, can look to add photos text buttons videos a photo grid and a guide show so let's choose a video and um, we can go to YouTube and get a video but what you can see and as I say I'll do an, another video with greater detail on the specifics but very easy to use editing function I'm just going to pick up a, a share link from this video here I'll pause that we don't want that playing we'll share this we'll copy that code we'll go back we'll paste it in there 
and save and that will add our video so we've got our name we've got our video and it looks in a similar way to, to sway in that you can very easily create a very slick looking presentation so you go photo grid and again you could upload your photos to build your grid so there you have a very quick look at spark um, as I said, I'll do some more videos to follow on using the features in more detail, but I think it's a great way of you creating good quality presentations in, in using the page feature or post on your social media or for your students to be, use it to produce their work. So I hope you found that useful. If you enjoyed the video, please remember to subscribe to the channel and join me again soon. Thanks for watching.